Hello guys, and welcome to my new Let's Play of Darkest Hour, a Hearts of Iron game. This game has been occupying my time for like the past month, so I'm gonna do a what's probably a very quick Let's Play of this game. Who knows, if it actually lasts longer than I imagine it's gonna last, it might turn it into another Let's Play, but I highly doubt it will. So, uh, for those who don't know about this game, it is a grand strategy game, not like what I've played before, you know, like Total War, that's just a strategy game. This is a grand strategy game. It involves a lot of long-term planning, and a lot of management. So, it's not just, you know, I fight this battle, and this, this battle, and then I've taken over the world. No, it, it's a lot more than that. Uh, I've installed a couple of mods to this game, by the way, um, Dark Sour usually just has the Great War, as it says here, it just got scenarios in this. Uh, so you have the Great War, which lasts till about 1921, and then it cuts off. And then you have this, uh, World War II. So it's, um, day of decision, this is the earliest you can start, it's like most Hearts of Iron games, I believe. So you start in 1943, and you, you build up to, um, World War II. Or you can just start at World War II, it's up to you. You start at the end of World War II, or the New World Order, and there's a f few fins like the Russo-Japanese War, and other such fins like that. But anyway, that's not what I've got. I've downloaded the mod that lets me seamlessly play through all of them. So I can go from 1914 to 1991, as it says there. So, without further ado, let's see how far I can get as the grand old nation of Luxembourg. That that staunch holdout in World War One. Do you remember hearing about how Luxembourg held out for all of a day, I believe? I don't even think it was a day, I think it was occupied on the day that they that they invaded. That the Germans invaded. Uh anyway, I think every one of these has a little bit of background history to them. As you can see here, I've been playing as Bulgaria. Could be, I might as well be talking about that while I play. So, I've been playing as Bulgaria on this game, as a, a staunch communist ally. I I didn't join the First World War, but I joined the Second World War on the communist side, and boy, Hitler did not like that. And Like, I have been driven out of half my land, I believe. Thankfully, I got like a ring of forts around, uh, if I can show Luxembourg. Got like a ring of forts around there. Why is it lagging? I, I didn't think this game would lag, to be honest. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, that That's that's not this game. We're playing as Luxembourg. So. Uh, policy can be changed. Music can be issued. Play on normal. No extra uh, difficulty added. So. I want to probably stress this. This game is impossible. Not the game in general, this particular game, playing as Luxembourg in 1914. I'll uh, go a bit further to the right, I, I guess. Uh, let's, let's just start on fast. So, playing as Luxembourg, you don't have an army, you don't have any defenses, you get 70 daily medal though, which is a lot. More than who you ever get in goddamn Bulgaria. And yeah, you you are screwed from the outset. You cannot do anything. <laughs> so what will happen is a bunch of events will happen in this game. Uh, so you'll see in a moment that the Archduke has been killed, you know, or uh, Italy has dropped their alliance with Austria and stuff like that. But yes, this game, really, really fun. I have been tempted to do a Let's Play. I'm doing this one, but I mean a serious one. Uh, you know, might do a Bulgarian Let's Play, where I become a, a fervent ally, or a fervent Axis member. Same with Spain, I might, could play Spain, or in a really good position to join in on the First World War, Second World War as well. Uh, even recreate the evil Dutch Empire, as the Netherlands here, to see if I can reenact the First World War from that, uh, Total War Let's Play that I did. You know, sweep into Belgium, take over France, then go up into Britain. That is, like, nearly impossible. I don't think I've seen anyone take Britain in all the time i played this. Anyway. Uh, yeah, there we go. So it's about to kick off. 
Yep. Okay, Austria-Hungary has sent their ultimatum. And what will they get back? So Serbia had Russia backs Russia went with support our Slavic brothers. Oh, so I'm sorry if the music's loud. Uh, in fact, I will show you why why this is a problem. Music, it's on four. It either is on or it's off. On or off. So I'm keeping it on. If it doesn't work out, then I know in a future Let's Play that it just shouldn't be on, I suppose. Okay, uh, entered the, the system of alliances are kicking in. I mean, I can do all this, uh, I can do the most important one, which is music. Let's go j Japanese. Something fun you can do in this mod. I don't think you can do it outside this mod, so... Really good mod, the Grand Campaign mod. I know I was always angry when I first started playing, and I was like, Oh yes, I've won the First World War, now I'm gonna go all the way to the Second World War, and then it cuts off. But this, this mod lets it all happen. Okay, here we go, so... Ah, uh, I have been invaded. And actually, this music sounds really loud. Let me, you know what? I'm just gonna stop it now. There we go. I even turned up my mic uh, beforehand in this. It's like one of the first times I've turned up my mic. Uh, anyway, so the systems alliance has taken place. Uh, we are at war, I believe. Are we at war? Actually, no, we're not at war yet. I can allow foreign volunteers, though. Let's allow the foreign volunteers in. So I, I'm i not at war yet, but I will be soon. Oh, I'm at war now. I'm at war now, yes, I, I was at war. Okay, general mobilization. So I got all my men, and to get my first piece of... Oh, but yeah, I completely missed out tech, yeah. Let's uh, start researching this. 1914 infantry, and, uh, let's get 1914 artillery. Yeah. I mean, it could go aircraft, or it could get experimental bombers, or unarmed reconnaissance, or even, uh, any sort of fleet. Because that would really help. Nope. So, uh, let's see. If the, what is it? If the Germans give me about four months, I can possibly squeeze out... No, I'd... Not even close. I only have five. It, it would take me, like, a year to build one garrison. Yeah, so let's, uh, let's have a look here. Will they immediately kill me? Can I make a peace? Hey, Germany. Peace. Uh, beg, beg for forgiveness. No, nope, okay. And I've been taken. And I'm dead. Okay, so that's that's it. Yeah, I really didn't expect uh, anything from this. I really just want to show off this game. Uh, but that is the end of Luxembourg. My my great let's play is Luxembourg in the the darkest hour. There is no way to win this game. I believe maybe if you put it on the e easiest difficulty and like have it so you can manipulate everything, because what you can actually do in this game. It's a bit cheaty, but I found this out. You can just surrender and leave the game. If you got a save, you can uh, save it, leave the game, pick your enemy, disband all the troops, leave the game, come back as your country, and then win. So technically, I could have Luxembourg overrun Germany if I really, really, really want to cheat the system. But that is it, folks. So, <laughs> yeah, just, uh... That, that's it, yeah. I, I know this there wasn't much this Let's Play. Lots can play as though. So many factions. Uh, anyway. I hope you enjoyed this Let's Play as Luxembourg. I, I didn't expect much, and I, I don't think you should have been... Historically, they was occupied on, like, the first day as well. I think they had, like, an armed force of ten men. Or something. So, I think they have a bit more than that, but anyway. That's irrelevant. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Later, guys.